Hey, how's it going GPU heads? Thanks for clicking on my video. Seb Heslow here. And what is the deal actually with mining Ergo on LHR cards? It seems like sometimes it's limited, sometimes it's not, sometimes it's a little bit limited, sometimes you can get around it. Well, we're gonna establish what's exactly going on in this video today. So let's jump on over to the computer and we'll get started. All right, and so the reason why I wanted to bring this up and make a video about this is because in a somewhat recent version of the T-Rex miner, they actually introduced a ergo mining LHR unlock, basically. And in the readme file for that, they outlined pretty well the differences uh, between the different versions of LHR GPUs and how ergo mining is affected differently on those versions basically. So here is the paragraph in question that I wanted to talk to you about. So here we go, ergo mining as opposed to ethereum mining isn't targeted by LHR so its effect is not as pronounced and so this is what we've kind of thought before right that like ergo mining is not supposed to to be targeted by the uh, like ET hash mining limiter in LHR, right? But it just happens to be so similar that the limiter kind of starts kicking in a little bit sometimes. And so it's been still pretty unreliable about like when does it kick in and when does it not kick in, right? And so they have uh, like established here, you know, the, the differences, right? And so basically there are three different types of LHR GPUs uh, in terms of what matters when it comes to ergo mining. And so your GPU can have two different kinds of memory. It can have either GDDR6 or GDDR6X. Also, if it has GDDR6 without the X, it also matters if the memory manufacturer is Hynix or not. Okay, so those are the three different kinds of memory. And so as we see here, GPUs with GDDR6 Hynix memory aren't working well with the unlocker. They claim you can get about 80% hash rate unlock with this new mode. And so then if you have GDDR6 but not Hynix, then they reckon you can get about 91% unlock in terms of hash rate. And finally, if you have GDDR6X, they reckon you should be able to get basically full hash rate, right? And so we're gonna do two things in this video because first of all, I actually have all three of these different kinds. I have a 3060Ti LHR, which is GDDR6 Hynix. I have a 3070 LHR, which is GDDR6, but that's Samsung. Um, so that would be here, right? Non Hynix. And finally, I have a 3070 Ti, which they're all LHR, but that has, of course, GDDR6X. So we're gonna test all those out. We're gonna test them without the Ergo Unlock and with the Ergo Unlock. Uh, but before then, I also wanna show you what GPUs have these different memory kinds and how to find out which one your GPU specifically has. So I've made a little list here, which is the GPUs that can be LHR and have GDDR6 memory are 3060s, 3060 Ti's and 3070s. And so if you have one of those, uh, it also matters if you have Hynix or another memory brand manufacturer, right? And so then we have GDDR6X, which is your 3070 Ti's, your 3080s and your 3080 Ti's. And to find out which memory brand you have, or what memory type you have, you need to download a little program called GPU-Z or GPU-Z and that is developed by Tech Power Up and you should be able to find that if you just Google Tech Power Up GPU-Z, right? And so this is what that program looks like and down here in the little drop down you can select your different GPUs you have plugged into your system currently and right here you can see this is a 3060 Ti it is LHR version, which you can see here, and memory type is down here, and this is GDDR6 Hynix. And then let's have a look at my LHR 3070, which you see here, 3070 LHR, and that's GDDR6 Samsung. And finally, we got my 3070Ti, which you can see here, 3070Ti, LHR, GDDR6X. And I guess the manufacturer there is Micron, but that's less important. But so yeah, basically those are the three different memory kinds and that is what will dictate kind of how well your LHR GPU will perform mining ergo. 
And so let's see that in action right now. I'm going to first mine without the unlocker, like I said, and then we're gonna try it with the unlocker and just see uh, what we get, basically. All right, so we are up and running uh, mining ergo uh, without any sort of ergo unlock in place. And as we can see here on the 3070 Ti, we're getting just below 170 mega hash or so. Now keep in mind, I have kind of bad silicon lottery on my 3070 Ti. I can't go higher than 900 on the memory clock. So you will probably be able to get a bit higher hash rate on yours. Actually, I've seen like 180 and you know, so on on 3070 Ti's. Then we have the 3070 LHR version, which kind of bounces around a hundred mega hash and then I also included with identical overclocks my non LHR like identical 3070 and that is doing around 175 mega hash so for reference there you can see what you know the full hash rate of a 3070 should be uh, and then we finally have the 3060 Ti uh, which has the Hynix memory LHR and that is doing 132 so as we can see, uh, without any sort of unlocker, uh, GDDR6, like non Hynix, uh, is the worst performer at just around 100 mega hash. And then we have a 3060 Ti, which, you know, completely unlocked should do, I mean, slightly less than a 3070, I guess. And then, of course, we also have the 3070 Ti, which is doing almost 170, but of course should do more than a 3070 like non-ti so let's try it with lhr unlocking now in the latest version of t-rex miner all right so i got t-rex miner up and running mining ergo with the ergo mining lhr unlocker right and while that uh, starts up i figured let's go through the batch file together here so uh, first of all i'm just selecting my four devices here uh, this just lets the miner read out the hash rates uh, more often and then this is what we're most uh, interested in, right? The LHR tune. So we're doing 80% for the 3060 Ti, which has the GDDR6 Hynix memory. And that is, um, we're using the recommended uh, unlock numbers here uh, for each memory kind as provided by T-Rex in their readme file, right? So then we're doing 91% unlock for the 3070 um, LHR version which uh, also has GDDR6 memory but has Samsung so non Hynix right then we're doing 99% unlock for the 3070 Ti uh, which has GDDR6X memory kind and finally we're doing zero aka no unlock for the 3070 with no LHR right like the non LHR 3070 doesn't need to be unlocked because it doesn't have LHR and then we're just locking our fans to a temperature of 55 degrees Celsius. Uh, we're doing no core clock or power limit for this. Um, just to take one of the parameters out of our text testing. And as long as we're consistent with that throughout our tests, that shouldn't be an issue. And finally, we got our memory overclocks here. So I'm doing a thousand for my 3060 Ti, 1300 for both 3070s and 900 for my 3070Ti. And these are the same overclocks that I used for the test without the unlocker and are basically as high as my GPUs are able to go while still being stable, right? So with that out of the way, let's have a look at the hash rates we're getting now. And so immediately the first thing that obviously jumps out at me is we're getting a lot worse hash rate on our 3060 Ti actually. Uh, so that is really weird and I wonder why that would be actually. Uh, and I definitely wonder if I would be able to unlock this a lot higher by putting a higher LHR unlock number here. So obviously that is worth experimenting with because we had 130 something on that previously, right? But with that out the way, we are getting 160 on our LHR 3070 now which that is significantly more than we had before. And yeah, basically in line with the 91%. So we're still getting around 175 or so on our non LHR 3070, right? And we're still still around the same for our 3070 Ti actually, which that's interesting. Um, 
I expected that to go up, if I'm honest with you. So yeah, let me let me try LHR91 on the Hynix memory one as well and see what we get. Yeah, so we were definitely able to do that and we're getting 120 mega hash on the 3060 Ti now. I'm wondering if we can go all the way like 99 on this, so I'm gonna try that. All right, so yeah, we were absolutely able to do that. We're getting around 131 mega hash now on the 3060 Ti, uh, which makes me think, what if we try LHR99 on the 3070 as well? So I'm gonna do that. Um, I'm also actually going to, for the next test, turn off the LHR unlocker again for the 3060 Ti, because if I remember rightly, we got a higher hash rate without the unlocker, right? So I'm gonna try that as well. All right, so final results here. We got our 3060 Ti chugging along at around 133 mega hash or so, and that is without the LHR unlocker in place. Didn't need it, I guess. Uh, then we have our 3070, um, which is GDDR6 Samsung, right? And I set it to LHR99, but then the LHR limiter started kicking in and so the auto-tune feature of T-Rex started reducing and reducing until the limiter uh, went away basically, which was at 92%. So just 1% higher than we had before, but still getting 161 mega hash uh, on that card now instead of 100 that we had before. So that's a giant win. As for the 3070 Ti, we're still getting 167 basically now. I admit I thought the 3070 Ti would go higher, but maybe not, and maybe that is due to my crappy silicon lottery on that GPU, who knows. And finally the non-LHR 3070, which is doing 175 or so. And so there you have it. Those are the results for the different memory kinds, just according to my tests, of course. Your mileage may vary, as I say, your results will be different from mine. Uh, but at least now, I hope you have a better understanding of the three different kinds of memory and how they are affected differently in terms of mining ergo on LHR cards. All right, so I hope this video helped clear things up just a little bit more in terms of ergo mining on LHR cards. And if you enjoyed this video, then please give it one of these. I'd really appreciate it. And what you got to do now is you got to click on that next video on the screen because this video is over. You can also click the picture of my face to subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate that. But yeah, go click on that next video and I'll see you there. Goodbye. Bye bye. Bye bye.